Hello friends, welcome to JavaFX GUI tutorial. In the previous video, we created all these four radio button and we kept that as a part of a single toggle group. Now we will report the selection changed and whenever user selects a radio button, we will immediately tell which radio button is selected. So that means here we will report the selected radio button. Say for example, in this screenshot, user selected gift pack 2. Once they select this particular radio button, we will immediately report gift pack 2 selected in a label. So we need to report the selected radio button. So we create a label control. And if you see, we already created this label as part of our previous example. So you can look at look at the code snippet 1.4. Or if you want to know, I will quickly go through it here. We are creating a label, giving a label caption, setting the font, font size 28. Then we are setting the color and we are adding it to the flow pen. Flow pen we already constructed and we added four radio button to the flow pen and we registered those four radio button with the toggle group. So those are all the stuff we did on a, in our previous video. Now if you see here we are handling the action event on the radio button one. RD1 set an action, new event handler, action event. Then here is the handle method. Inside the handle method, if you see, if RD1 is selected, we are reporting radio button 1 selected. The same way, you can create other handler. So the first one here is anonymous handler. And here it is a lambda expression based handler. So you can handle in any way. We also see that when we learned about the button click event, the same way here we are handling it for the uh, radio button. So here in the handle, we are making use of rd one dot is selected. So this will return boolean true or false. And uh, we state radio button one selected. So if it is in selected state, the same way we are handling it for rd two. This time we are using the lambda expression. Then for RD3 also we use the simplified notation. So for RD4 we are not handling only 3. For if you want to handle it for RD4 you can go with the same notation RD4 dot set an action use lambda expression or anonymous inner class to handle the event. Now it's demo time we will go ahead with our previous example and handle the event. So here is our example and now we will introduce first uh, we need to create a label and here we are creating the label. So label we are importing it from Java FX scene control font from Java FX scene text font color Java FX scene paint color. Alright, we created our label and here I specified 1.5. If you see here, this is our first example, right? And if you see 1.5. So the same piece of code here I taken and kept it here. So that's why here we are specifying it was already covered in 1.5. Next uh, we will handle the radio button click event. By making call to set an action and providing the handler anonymous handler so if you want to solve this anonymous inner type it's always good to go from inside to out so here inside its action event first it tell from where you want to import it Java FX event action event so leave that for now 
here event handler is from javafx event event handler so that's all now all are resolved once i import the required event handler and action event all right so this is anonymous inner class way of handling the event and this is the lambda expression so lambda expression we haven't covered in any of the java and when time permits we will create a new section and we will cover lambda expression lambda expression needs a separate uh, playlist uh, it's a big topic but to see how this results into a lambda expression um, here we are passing the event handler event handler asks us to uh, provide only one implementation the implementation is handle method so since that's the case here if you see we doesn't specify the name of the handler it doesn't specify the name of the method well, because all are single entity uh, there is this one uh, interface and that exposes only one method so we just take this one and we specify the lambda notation and we directly give the body so this is the body right and if you see the same stuff here i am giving so here we are checking rd1 selected right here we are not even checking whether uh, rd2 is selected or not so since we are handling the action event user is clicking on that specific button so if user clicks on that specific button it will definitely go into selected state so here also you can it's an anonymous type right rd1 and action so here also you can even remove this uh, uh, safe checking statement all right now we will go ahead and build this once and inside the body if you see we are making use of our label 3 and setting the text label 3 we already constructed so for this icon we are not um, uh, handling the event now i am clicking on gift pack 2 and you can see radio button 2 selected radio button 1 selected 3 is selected just now you saw the example thank you for watching bye